Kitakubu. Hey everyone, Kita Sean here. So welcome back to another episode of Kita News where we talk about everything otaku. It's been a while, but uh, we're back talking anime otaku news. So um, I was at work on my break and I was scrolling through Twitter and I realized that Chainsaw Man is trending right now because there are possible leaks. Uh, again, take it with a grain of salt. We don't know if these are official, but if they are going to announce something for Chainsaw Man, it's probably going to be at Anime Expo 2023, which is actually in two weeks from now. So um, Studio Mappa is also going to be there. So most likely if they're going to announce Chainsaw Man Season 2, uh, it's going to be there. But uh, the leaks say that that there is a movie adaptation in the works as well as a season two and honestly i'm not too surprised about season two movie i'm actually surprised about uh but first things first you guys are going to be like but the blu-ray cell they didn't do so well like yeah they didn't do well at all chainsaw man really really um underproduced when it comes to blu-ray blu cells I, I i do feel like uh, many fans as well as the studios kind of believe that Chainsaw Man would just break records because it's Chainsaw Man. It was such an anime that was super hyped about, um, but uh, it, it just did not produce when it comes to sales. Uh, I mean, Butch of the Rock, I believe it freaking beat it by like what two times maybe three times the amount i might be completely wrong on that but uh, i know bochi the rock did so much better than chainsaw man when it comes to blu-ray sales and then not only the bochi the rock but the parody version the parody porno version of chainsaw man did better when it comes to blu-ray sales kind of sad if you you know if, you, if i say so myself but um I mean, if this movie adaptation and the season two announcement is actually real, uh, it just basically tells you that they still believe in the IP, which is a great thing. Like that, I, I think that's awesome that they still believe that Chainsaw Man can actually produce. Hopefully, that is the case. But um, I do feel like this movie adaptation is a pretty big risk, in my opinion, um, especially for Japan. Like, uh, if the Blu-ray sales don't do well. I mean, what makes you think that people in Japan will spend their money just to go watch this movie adaptation? Uh, but I do feel like if they actually show this in U.S. theaters, like theaters outside of Japan, oh yeah, it's going to do so well. I mean, look what Jujutsu Kaisen brought in. Brought in a lot of money. Uh, One Piece brought in a lot of money. Like I, I do feel like uh, showing these... Uh, uh, anime movies outside of Japan will definitely bring in a lot of money so I think that's what they're banking on um, and I, I, I feel like this is the risk that they should take when it comes to the movie adaptation for Chainsaw Man now the question is are they actually going to be following the actual story of the manga or is this going to be its own thing um, it, it, that's kind of hard to say right now i feel like if anything it should be like its own movie uh because like i mean season one kind of ended where like uh on a cliffhanger i guess you can say and of course we didn't really fight the big baddie yet which i do believe season two will cover but at the same time i, I wouldn't be too surprised if the movie covered that but um yeah I, I do feel like chainsaw man the movie might be a risk in japan but um, they can definitely cover that if they air uh, if they show this in you know theaters outside of Japan. Uh, season two um, uh, again, like it's a little bit surprising, but at the same time, I kind of expected them to announce season two, even though the sales for the Blu-ray discs were really bad. Um, I, I feel like the investors are just like, hey, we we want this to like uh, to pop off. I mean. Chainsaw Man Season 1, I you, you can tell they put a lot of money in Season 1. I mean, the 12, I can't remember how many episodes with Chainsaw Man was, but the different endings that they had, um, the crazy animation that they did. Uh, so yeah, I, I feel like the investors and, of course, the studio believed that Chainsaw Man could help them make money. And, I mean, just the animation quality for the anime is just, you know, really really good uh personally for me i didn't really care too much about chainsaw man the anime um i thought it was honestly kind of whatevers uh, i enjoy reading the manga so i am not a chainsaw man hater uh, i just thought the manga was better than the anime like we all say <laughs> but um no i mean it's still really cool that chainsaw man is getting another chance or 
possibly getting another chance. And um, again, if we're actually getting an official announcement, I do believe it's going to be at Anime Expo 2023. Uh, we'll definitely keep an eye out on that. But uh, what do you guys think about this? I mean, again, I do. I I, I know that Chainsaw Man fans are super happy to hear this because again, like Western fans love Chainsaw Man. I I, I don't know if. Japanese fans in Japan like this anime or not? I I really don't know. I mean, manga's uh, sales are high, so I would assume they are. But yeah, it's just really hard to say. Like I, maybe the animation style was just too much for the Japanese audience. I, again, I don't know. But um, I mean, it, again, it's just really cool to see that an anime is getting a second chance, and um, hopefully, this is actually what uh, uh, this is basically the comeback story for Chainsaw Man, I guess you can say. Uh, but yeah, that's basically going to be about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, let me know in the comment section below if you guys believe Chainsaw Man, the movie, and season two is going to help the IP. Like, Do you guys think this is going to be the comeback story for Chainsaw Man? So uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters.